Hi, this is Flicky. Welcome to the Road to Glory Career Mode Youth Edition with Mansfield Town. Welcome to, to episode 9, season 2. Um, today we're playing, as always, three games in this episode, and we're starting uh, when we're playing Bristol Rovers away. Uh, for the first game, the second game of the episode, we're gonna have uh, Bradford City visiting the field mill. And for the third and final game, we're playing Wigan, and we're also playing them home, so they are visiting the field mill. But the first game of this episode, we're fighting uh, Bristol Rovers, and we're going to the Memorial Stadium, trying to get three points. Let's go. Hello everyone and welcome. What we can't complain about today is the weather. Absolutely perfect playing conditions. Derek Ray here in the commentary position and I'm joined as always by Lee Dixon. And we're ready to bring you live coverage of this League One fixture. It's Bristol Rovers and they face Mansfield Town. Yeah, thanks Derek. Both teams will no doubt be looking for a quick start. So important to get focus from the off. Really looking forward to this. Hopefully it won't disappoint. Thank you, enjoy the game. And the match begins. 4-4-2 can really create a 2v1 down the side, so Keep your eye out for that. And the three narrow midfield players supply the support for the team. He must finish! A goal in the early stages. Precisely what they had been planning. Well, here's the replay. Defenders don't like it when he goes to wide areas because they know what's going to happen. The ball's going to come into the box. And on that occasion, it comes in. And now they're picking it out the back of the net. Well, he can't let the frustrations get the better of him, Derek. His players need help here. The opening goal of the game, then. It's the Rovers' goal, number nine, Jason. Well, that's Hull. a moment the fans won't soon forget. Pressure. He's found a pocket of space. Looking ball, a chance for them to provide a test in the form of a corner, and firing it into the area, relatively straightforward to mop up defensively, gliding through the gears, and the defense. Well, look at this, Derek. Sometimes the opposition are all set up perfectly for you to dribble through them. It's almost like he's playing FIFA. He goes through and puts the ball in the back of the net. It's brilliant. Well, the happy times are back. The coach is more than delighted by his team's response. Even Steven won a piece on this match. Might be able to set up the chance. Must score! And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, Derek, this is why coaches tell you to stop the cross from coming in. But they didn't get tight enough and were punished for it. 
slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. So there we have it, 2-1. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. I think everyone knew that was foul play. And the referee left with little choice but to award the free kick. He's now got to be extra careful. A verbal warning rather than a caution here. Yeah, the next one he knows. Dangerous looking attack. And crossed in the direction of the back post. Can they slot it home? Opportunity it is. Can't miss, surely. Oh, it's off the post. The goal was at his mouth. Little. And the referee says that is all for today. So we have a 2-1 win, that was great. Uh, we're gonna have a training session here and see if anyone, I think Dewey might be the one that goes up to 60 if we're lucky. Well, yeah, he went up to 60, so now I can check if he has any potential, um, even though they go up and down in this game. Um, but, so a 2-1 win away to Bristol Rovers, that's, I mean, that's good. That's three points and I need that. It's a tight league. We're in sitting in 13th position right now after 18 games played. So that's, uh, well, hopefully we're gonna be keeping a distance down to the relegation so we don't wanna end up fighting in that one. Mid table is okay. So for the second game of this episode, we're gonna have uh, Bradford City visiting us at the field mill. And we're gonna do what we can to get three points. Hello, good evening to you wherever you are. The first piece of news to bring you is the fact that the heavens have opened a rainy night here. I'm Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box by Lee Dixon. And we're ready to bring you live coverage of this League One fixture. It's Mansfield Town, and they take on Bradford City. Hi, Derek, thank you. Well, both managers will be reminding their players how important it is to start off the game really quickly. Really attack the opposition, put them on the back foot, see what comes of that. Hopefully we get a good game. Thank you, enjoy the game. And now they get the ball rolling. He'll certainly be a threat. Can he get another two goals or even three in this game? Now can he deliver accurately? And moving the ball nicely. A decent effort, but the keeper read it all the way. He has plenty of support. And a powerful effort, but just not getting anxious when they have the ball. He must finish! Just had to keep his concentration to the maximum, and he did. A chance now with the corner. Corner kick played in, and nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. Good pressure, can they make something of this? Gliding through the gears. Now he must favour the cross. Really good block. That is excellent pressure high up the pitch. Might be a chance here. 
it's got to be a 1v1 situation and the goalkeeper does his job Anderson still passing it around with authority well it was pretty straightforward for the goalkeeper he's feeling the pressure here and that is how to thwart them firing it towards goal pretty routine there for the goalkeeper and teammates to play it to and the goalkeeper up to the task well yeah it's a decent set O'Connor Wood and there goes the final whistle So that was a goalless draw, a nil-nil game, uh, it was not the most exciting one to watch, but anyway. We have another training session here, um, we should, yeah, we're gonna see if our new guy Kuntz can climb a little, he's at 51, now he went up to 52, and Kiraku went up too, to 54, I think. can see at the league table here we're 19 games in we have seven wins seven draws five losses we're sitting at 14th out of 24 positions so it's, it's, it's we're going and uh, as the you know the board want us mid table so we're trying to please them uh, the third and final game of this episode it's gonna be against Wigan they're gonna visit us at the field mill and uh, well, I'm not sure that, that we're ready to, to, to beat a team like Wigan, but we, we're sure going to try. Um, let's go. Great stadium, lovely evening, great to have you with us, welcome. Martin Tyler here and Alan Smith, it's EFL League One football, it's Mansfield Town, against Wigan Athletic. Yeah, thanks, Martin. Looking forward to it, I think. Enjoy the game. So here we go. They're looking good when they get the ball out wide, as they've done here. Well, they've got a set-piece specialist, haven't they? And this might just suit him. Well, this is a really good opportunity to take the lead. That's a good strike in the end, and just wide. Yeah, he did hit it well. Not sure the keeper was getting there, you know. And that free kick whistled away close to the goal. Do you know what? He's so good at these, I expected him to score. Naismith. Now McLeod. Look at the skill there, Alan. Well, that is the type of skill. Here's the chance. And that is the first goal, and it could be the one that actually shapes the destiny of the day. Head down, concentrating on the contact, on the ball. He does the damage. So the first goal, it's 1-0. It's for the team to attack into. Well, he has got a chance to get the cross in.
Oh, it could be on. And that ball belongs to the goalkeeper. This does look promising. Jacobs. He fancies his chances in getting past these players. Lovely, incisive pass. Superb save. He shouldn't have had a chance at all with... Room now out of the wing. One or two players arriving in the middle. Now, can they make this count? Tries to shot here. He stopped it. Pretty credited win it, but just as fraction off. And the manager, Alan, is making this change here. Substitution will take place. He's played really well. He's a thorn in the side of those opposing defenders. He might have put his teammate in here. Space for the shot. Well, he scored. He scratched their lead. Double their advantage. You can't be too critical of the keeper, but he just needed some help from his Goal defenders there. Restarting at 2-0. Michael Jacobs. Set up to play on the break now. Could pull one back here. Well, they have cleared the danger. It was a decent opportunity, I think. He times his tackle superbly. Being closed down, he comes to the challenge. He fancies his chances getting past these players. That's a great block. Saw that coming and intercepted. There is the final whistle. Good part of the season has... So we lost two goals to zero, and we can't really say anything about that because they outplayed us, and we didn't really create much chances either. And we're still sitting at the 14th position in the league after 20 games played. We're soon halfway into to season two. Um, the first one in League One. It's it's looking fairly decent so far. I mean, I'm the the team is developing. They are growing. The players are getting better. Um, I, I'm not well. A few, well, a few teams have really been having a lot of fun with me, like Oxford and, and like Wigan now. Um, but you know, it's 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 looking looking fairly decent to be honest. Um, I'm surprised that we played um, as, as good as we have. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, I want to thank you for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. And besides that, you take care of yourself. You make sure you keep your social distance and you wash your hands. Till next episode, be safe. Be kind to each other and walk good.